All right, I'm gonna teach you something you've probably never learned before. I'm going to teach you how to breathe. Yes, seriously, this, this is about breathing, how to breathe. And not just regular type of breathing, which you probably do already, but actually a different type of breathing. I wanna teach you the Wim Hof method. And Wim Hof is a guy, he's an explorer, you're gonna learn about him in a little bit, who's figured out how to breathe to turn him into a superhuman. Yes, that's true. So, what is a Wim Hof breathing method? Well, it's a way of breathing to totally energize your body so that you can get clarity, you can get power. Wim actually uses it to break world records. So it actually gives you focus, relaxation, and you can even, even get high off doing this, okay? So breathing methods have been around since we've ever been able to breathe, but most of us don't really get taught how to breathe. Um, the Indians have got, like in yoga, yoga is all about breathing. There's a lot of texts on how to breathe, and there's a lot of different breathing practices that you can use to create different states inside your body. You can breathe for relaxation, you can breathe for energy, you can breathe to get more in line with the divine, with God, the universe. There's different types of breathing you can do. This one is going to be the Wim Hof method. Now again, you might be thinking, yeah, but I already know how to breathe. Breathing simple and yeah, you probably do know how to breathe, but do you know how to do it the right way? Do you know how to do it to get all the energy possible? Do you know how to do it to fully energize and revitalize your body? Because this guy, Wim Hof, has figured out a way to breathe that allows him to um, run across the Sahara Desert with hardly any, without any water, okay? It allows him to climb up the Everest in just shorts and some boots without freezing to death. It allows him to break numerous world records, staying like cold exposure, being in ice longer than anyone else can be in ice without dying. And it's also allowed him to scientifically has been proven that he can modulate his own immune system to prevent himself from getting disease. He actually did a study, it was, um, it was in the Netherlands, at one of the universities there, where they injected Wim and a hundred other test subjects with a toxin, it was a dead bacteria toxin, which should have brought on flu-like symptoms and made people ill for a couple, like two, three days. Everybody in the study got ill, except for Wim, scientifically proven that he could actually modulate his immune system. He turned up his immune system so he didn't get sick. And it was all through this breathing, this breathing technique you're about to learn. All right, so we're gonna get into this. So either sit up or lay down. Um, I actually prefer to sit up nice and tall. And then you're gonna take a deep breath into your stomach and into your lower back. Just, just a deep breath. Just to feel it. Okay, okay. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the technique. First of all, you're gonna watch, and then we're actually gonna do it together, all right? So the technique is a deep breath in through your mouth, deep into your stomach, deep into your lower back, and then let out some air, about 30 or 40% out your mouth before you take another deep breath in. Okay, there's different variations. You see people do different variations. I'm just gonna show you the way that I've really experienced the most energy from it. That's the way I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna show you just five breaths. You watch, and then we're gonna do 30 together. So the breaths look like this. That was five. All right, so we're gonna do 30 together. On the 30th breath, after we've taken the 30th inhale, you're gonna release all of the air, everything out your lungs, everything out your body, and then simply hold your breath. Okay, simply hold your breath. Then when you can't hold your breath any longer, you're gonna take another deep breath into your lungs, hold for 15 seconds, and then blow it all out again, everything out. And then we're gonna go into round two. 
into round two, we're gonna do 40 breaths. On the 40th breath, we're gonna blow everything out. We're gonna hold for as long as you can. Then we're gonna take big deep breath, hold for 15 seconds, and then everything out. Then we're gonna go into a third round. And on the third round, we're gonna take 50 breaths. 50 times. On the 50th inhale, we'll then blow everything out and then simply hold your breath for as long as possible. And I bet you can hold it a hell of a lot longer than you could the first time round. People even do three minutes, three minutes, four minutes holding the breath. So let's see what's possible for you. So you've got the technique. Let's get started. When you're holding your breath, hold your breath, just relax into it. Keep holding your breath and totally relax into the feeling. Hold your breath for as long as possible. Relax, relax, relax. And only when you've finished, only when you cannot hold any longer, do you take a big deep breath in and hold for 15 seconds. So now doing your first round, you may notice your vision's changed, maybe things are clearer, brighter. You may have noticed really relaxed in that time when you breathed out and you was holding your breath. We're just tipping, we're just at the tip of the iceberg, as they say. Let's go deeper, we're going to round two. 40 breaths, let's go. holding relax for as long as you can hold your breath and only when you can no longer hold take a deep breath in Now I know you're noticing something. Probably feeling clear. Probably feeling relaxed. Even just be feeling happy, feeling good. We're gonna go for one final round. And this round, as you blow out, be sure to time yourself. 
So you can set a timer on your phone, a little stopwatch on your phone. And when you hold your breath, just hit the timer and see how long you can hold your breath for. I'm certain it's gonna be a lot longer than usual. Apparently because you're over, you're gonna over oxygenate your cells. And you may even, when I do this a lot, my body will even start shaking. Whatever you do, when you do this, do not do this while you're driving, ever. Um, do not do this while standing. Make sure you're in a safe environment. Make sure you're seated, you calm, you're safe, you know, you're in a safe environment. I've stood up too early before. I thought, oh, I feel so amazing after doing this. I held my breath and was feeling amazing, so I stood up and then quickly fell back down and bumped my head off a bookshelf, so I wouldn't recommend that. So just make sure that you're definitely not driving, you're seated, you're safe, so if you get a bit woozy or a bit dizzy, you're all good, all right? So let's give it a go. Last time, get your timer ready. We're gonna go for 50, 50 breaths. Five, four, three, two, one, let's get into it. I always, always struggle to hold it a long time. I used to be better at the start when I first started doing this, it's gone worse. Probably living in LA with this crappy air pollution. So I gotta to move to the beach. So I notice how you feel after that. You feel more centered. You feel more relaxed. You feel different. Imagine how it would feel if you started your day with this. Imagine what it would like to feel so much energy and power, to feel so calm and relaxed at the same time. I wonder what's possible for your life if you walked around and you acted and you made decisions from this state. I wonder how much more focused you'd be, how much more energetic, how much more relaxed and happier you'd be. Wait a second. Just before you go, I've got a free gift for you that I want to allow you to get right now. Um, this is, basically, it's a daily action planner, okay? And I've created this because you know how frustrating it is when you have a goal and you very clearly want to achieve something, but you're just not very consistent on it. You know, some days you work towards it, some days you don't, and you may or may not reach your target because of that. Well, I know how frustrating that is because that's happened to me more days than I care to admit, to be quite frank. So I asked a friend of mine, a billionaire, Walter O'Brien, like, what should I do about it? And Walter said, get a daily action planner and keep your agenda in your pocket each day. And he says, once you have 
this daily action planner, it will allow you to stay focused, to be consistent and consistently take action towards your goals. All right, so you can download it right now. It's a free gift to help you basically achieve your goals and grow your business, whatever that is for you. So you just click the link somewhere around here and get your free daily action planner right now.